Art Laffer, one of the most famous economists in the world. He worked in the Reagan administration during the last great overhaul of the American tax code. President Trump just tweeted about Art Laffer saying, quote, Art Laffer just said he doesn't know how a Democrat could vote against the big tax cut reform bill and live with themselves. Art Laffer joins us tonight. We know he agrees with that. Uh, Art, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you, Tucker. I watch your show all the time. I love it. Well, thank you. So the central question, I think, of the last couple of years, certainly the one that drove the last election, is what do you do about a middle class that is getting smaller and poorer, whose wages haven't risen in a lot of cases in 50 years? Does this help? Specifically, does it help them? Oh, this helps a lot. I mean, what I think uh, the president said is correct. It's Kevin Hassett's research. But, you know, the corporate tax rate reduction expands wages and it expands employment dramatically. Most economists agree that the real key to getting economic growth is bringing that corporate rate down from 20, from 35 percent, hopefully to 15 percent. But uh, 20 percent is where they propose it now. But that should be an enormous elixir to economic growth and create jobs. And I mean, literally get people off the dole and put them on the job and raise wages and increase the number of people working. It'll be a great thing for the U.S. Judging by the equities markets, the, like, corporations are, are making a lot of money. I mean, it's not, the problem is not corporate profits, oh, and yet you still have you know, close to 100 million Americans unemployed in these stagnant wages. Why, if that hasn't worked previously, would it work now? Well, one thing is the corporations that have lots of cash on hand and all that don't find it available, don't find it valuable to invest in the future. I mean, they invest overseas, they do overseas, but once you bring that rate down to below the, I mean, we're number one highest tax rate, corporate tax rate in the OECD. Right. I mean, that means all these other countries are tax havens for American companies, and that's why there's so much money abroad. These jobs, this money will come back, they'll create jobs here, and hopefully if we get it low enough, Tucker, we can become the tax haven in there jobs will come here. It'll be great, just the way it should be, just the way we did it in 1986. The president cut the highest rate from 46 percent to 34 percent. I mean, and that really rocket engined the U.S. economy. And by the way, when we did that, uh, 97 senators voted for that bill, including all but three Democrats. So, you know, this is a bipartisan policy right. that should lead to enormous economic growth and prosperity for the middle class. Did the Bush tax cuts work? Uh, very slightly, but yes, they did work a little bit. I mean, a couple of them did, but they phased them in over a long period of time, and, and they weren't anything like I would like to have seen, uh, but they did work a little bit. And then the second term of Bush uh, completely overturned that, and it was a terrible, a te terrible administration in the second term. And then, of course, you had Obama who, I mean, destroyed a lot of the good economic yeah. prosperity. And a financial uh, collapse as well. So, oh, um, it was it terrible in the whole thing, yes. Yeah, it was. It sure was. And and the recovery is not complete. Far from it. So d what would way, happen? I mean, we're really low, Tucker. I mean, we're I've way noticed. below where we should be. If we yes. had the same employment to population ratio today, we'd have 11.8 million more jobs if we had the same employment to population as when Clinton left office. Well, exactly. So the, I mean, the, president, the president's plan to encourage companies to bring that money back on shore. If that were to remain part of this bill and it passes and becomes law, how much are we talking about coming back in the United States? Well, I, I don't know what the exact numbers would be, but it'd be a lot. Let me just say that if we had territoriality before, none of it would have left the U.S. I mean, what territoriality means is that if you pay foreign taxes, you don't own any additional U.S. taxes. Trump was very clear on that in his speech. And he's just put in proposed territoriality as opposed to your liable for U.S. taxes as well right. as foreign taxes. That doesn't make any sense at all. We can't compete with a German company in Ireland if they pay 12 and percent and we have to pay 35 percent. Is, is the United States the only company, the only country that that does that? Uh, we're the only one in the OECD that does that. There may be some other little country somewhere, but in the OECD of all the major countries, we were the only country that had global taxation. We had the highest tax rate. And just for the record, just so you know, in the year 2000, the U.S. was seventh highest out of 34 countries in the OECD, and now it is the very highest. Every country in the OECD cut their corporate tax rates dramatically in the last 17 years, except the U.S. and, of course, Hungary, which raised their tax rate from 18% to 19%. It, but so all of them lowered it to get it more competitive. We're just keeping up with the Joneses. R really quickly, when I was born, sure. 1969, this country was two-thirds middle class. It was a middle class country. 
Two years ago, the middle class became the minority in this country. That seems like the central problem. Do you sincerely think that this tax plan would help change that? Yes. This tax plan will help change this. One of the things about the corporate tax as it stands now in the U.S., Tucker, is that a lot of companies shelter their income. They choose different corporate tax forms. They do all of this other stuff that is non-productive, trying to get around taxes. Right. When we lower that tax rate, they won't shelter their income as much anymore. There'll be far less tax evasion. They won't choose these forms. Companies will come back. And you know what you're going to see? You're going to see tax revenues rise dramatically over the next 10 years. I am estimating that this will raise somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.3 trillion net, uh, which will be, allow us to do right. all sorts of other things for the rest of the country, especially the middle class, Tucker. Well, this I hope is, that's true. These are I'm, the rooting, for, I'm rooting for that, I got to say. Art Laffer, well, thank you for that. Thank you. Great to see you.